What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lightwork, and today we're gonna to be talking about 2K20, all the rumors, the things you'll be getting in your pre-order. What can you expect from 2K20? And that's especially aimed at archetypes. Now, first and foremost, I would love to thank everyone that watches my videos. Thank you for the love and support. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you can be notified of my when my videos do drop. Also, this video is not to bash any other 2K YouTuber, big or small. This is just my honest opinion. And I will never steer my, steer my viewers wrong in anything that I bring to the forefront. So let's jump in. Now... I've been hearing a lot of rumors about the archetypes and about how they're gonna go back to the inside, the outside, and the balance. Uh, guys are putting up clip art, um, different things, different designs, little ideas. Guess what? We do not know anything in reference to the archetypes. I can assume, I can clickbait you all I want. I do not know nothing about the archetypes. There has been no news. I can show you tweets, and guess what? The tweets are gonna prove nothing. They're gonna be most cryptic tweets ever. So I'm not gonna do that to my subscribers and to my viewers. Now, again, this is not to bash any YouTuber. I do not get paid by 2K. I do not get paid by anybody. I don't even get paid by YouTube yet. I just want to do this for the consumers. Now, in reference to the pre-order, the regular pre-order, so if you ordered the regular edition, you'll be getting 5K in VC, 5K in my team, you're gonna get some my player apparel, and then you're gonna get five skill boosts, um, you know, in reference to shots, steals, blocks, different things like that. Um, the, Deluxe edition, you'll get 35 VC, 35K VC. You'll get 10K into my team. Of course, you'll get my player apparel. You'll get 10 skill points or skill skill boost. And you'll get a Sapphire card. Now, I guess that's great for all of my, my team players type of people. But for me, I don't really play the mode, which uh, I may get into this year. Now the Legend Edition, this is the one with D-Wade on the front, on the cover. You get 100K the VC, you get 50K in my team, you get my player apparel, you get a shoe collection as well. You will get 20 skill boosts, and then you'll get two Sapphire cards. Now, if you play my team, I will tell you to get the the deluxe or the legend because obviously you're getting more bang for your buck but for me I will be getting the regular edition because and the reason why is because for one I don't really play my team like I stated before but I do feel like if you want to put money into a game you don't need to buy the deluxe or the legendary to do that now if you're a Dwayne Wade fan or if you're you just want this deluxe edition Go ahead and go get it. But for myself, it's not for me. I will be ordering the regular one or the standard, and I will be putting my money to it when I see fit. Also, understand when we talk about builds and them being toxic or them being overpowered or anything of that nature, understand that if your build, a pure post score, pure shot creator, whatever it is, and it's doing great, expect it to be nerfed buffed down, uh, broken down, whatever you want to say or call it. Because 2K YouTubers do feel that if they're losing or if they don't have the best players and different things like that, they will complain. This community can be very great and it can be very toxic. It can be very underhanded. It can be very pointless at times. But if you have a player, a build, and you're really enjoying this build, and you're putting your efforts into grinding them out, 
and then all of a sudden a patch comes and your player seems to be kind of dumbed down or whatever understand that they're they're doing this because they didn't choose that archetype first or build that archetype at first so you keep grinding you keep playing it out but for myself how i feel about the game oh also let me, let me uh say this real quick if you're gonna buy the game buy it that's your choice if you're gonna make up negative videos about the game that's your choice if you want to be negative about the game that's your choice that's all your choice that is your money now do not let people influence you to buy this game if you want to buy this game buy it myself I buy the game because guess what I like basketball just like Madden I will buy Madden every year why because I love football period I just love Madden no matter what product they put out so if you want to play 2k and you want to buy it go out and buy it you ain't got to be a fanboy. you ain't got to be a negative in community you just play what you spend your money your hard-earned money on period uh, we don't know anything about the parks hopefully the parks do come back but that's for the OG's if you don't know much about the parks or if you just recently got into 2k then there were three parks each one had an affiliation now you were able to leave a park and you join another park but you will lose your rep you have to start over uh, it was a good grind good thing for different players like myself because I love to grind it out and then be able to travel to another park then I want to say thank you for all the love and support thank you for everybody that's new that's watching my channel that subscribe I really do appreciate it I really do if you're new here please subscribe to my channel hit that bell so you can be notified when my videos do drop but also like I said before do not buy this game because of somebody else you buy it for yourself you spend your hard-earned money on it and you play it how you see fit it's your boy light work I am out light work ain't always easy work but somebody got to do it peace